Hello and welcome to ABC Interactive English. I'm Kim. And I'm Brandon. Brandon, you want to see something cool? Yeah, what? Wow! Ooh, what is it? It's magic. It, magic? Yes. Okay, uh, tell me more. All right, let me ask you another question. All right. Are you hungry? Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm always hungry. <laughs> Watch this. Brandon, I see that you're in a bad mood. Perhaps you'd be happier if you had some food. Whoa! Hey! A hamburger! You like that? Eh? Yeah! Oh, Thank you, you very much. I'll save this for later. Hey, I've got an idea. You know what goes well with a hamburger? Fries? A drink. Oh, that too. Let's see if I can do some magic. Let's see here. Um, aha! Magic, magic, what do you think? I could go for a tasty drink. Are you gonna drink out of that? Oh no, you can't drink out of a... I didn't want a shoe, I wanted a drink. Maybe you need to practice more. Yeah. Well, thanks for this anyhow. You're welcome. <laughs> and this is the art of magic, part one. <laughs> People love magic. The tricks are fun and surprising to watch. Many of them don't seem possible, and people can't believe their eyes when they see them. All right, this is the art of magic part one. Now, first, before we get into it, the very important thing is, what's magic? Yeah, magic. So we, we kind of did some magic earlier, right? You made a hamburger up here, and I made a really tasty drink up here. I think it was a shoe. Okay, it was a shoe. But the point is, that's something that's impossible. It's not really possible for a hamburger to come from nowhere, or even a shoe that should have been a drink from nowhere. So how did we do that? If, if we have real magic, if we have magic, it means we make impossible things happen, right? So magic can be a noun or an adjective. As a noun, magic is uh, an improbable or impossible thing happening. Right, so we're talking about things like pulling rabbits out of hats, changing the color of handkerchiefs, making coins appear from nowhere. Things like that are all types of magic that people do, and they're just fun little kind of performances that people really enjoy, I think. Yeah, I, I think there's a lot of stories about magic as well. Uh, so you might read some stories about it in, in a book. But as an adjective, uh, if something uh, is magic, that means it does something. It has some property about it. Something about it is impossible. So it's a very interesting. Yes. So uh, let's get into this. People love magic. Uh, the tricks are fun and surprising to watch. Many of them don't seem possible and people can't believe their eyes when they see them. Yeah, so if you've ever watched any of these shows, uh, or maybe seen somebody performing on the street where they do a bunch of magic tricks, and it seems like impossible. Maybe they make somebody appear in a different place, or they hide something that shouldn't be able to disappear that quickly, things like that. And people love being fooled like this. They love to see something impossible happen in front of them. So it can be really fun to watch a magic show. I saw a magic show. At the magic show, they did two things that were really awesome. It was very amazing. One of the things they did is they had cards, and they, I don't know how they did it, but they made the cards disappear from their hands. They were playing with the cards, and then suddenly, the cards were gone, and they pulled them out of their pocket. Whoa. I couldn't believe it. They were gone. Uh, later, they invited someone on stage, and they you just used a saw to cut them in half. And they showed them looking like they were in half and then put them back together. It was in boxes. I didn't really understand it, but it was kind of amazing. <laughs> that is really amazing because it's something that shouldn't really be able to happen, right? Exactly. It's kind of crazy. So it, it was kind of a trick and we talked about trick, right? So can you help 
us understand tricks. Right, so when we talk about magic, we often say magic tricks. And these are just the performances that people do that involves magic. So like picking cards out, saying, is this your card? That's a trick. It's just um, a way to describe this kind of performance or uh, thing that, that magicians are doing. Mm. Um, it's not like trick, like tricking somebody. That's to kind of make somebody think that something happened, but it didn't happen. Yeah. This is the noun form, so it's just this performance thing. Mm. Well, oh, also, you could use trick uh, for like animals. Mm -hmm. Animals can do a trick. Yeah, dogs can jump. Or flip. Oh, if I'm on my bicycle or a skateboard, I could perform a trick. And that's another way of using the word. The trick is doing something that's very difficult after a lot of practice. Yeah, it probably requires some skill to do that too. Very some of these so. tricks are difficult. Mm -hmm. And we also have this verb, watch. So watch, a lot of people confuse this with see and look at. So we're going to break this down for you. <laughs> so if you're watching something, that means you're looking at it for a long time and giving it your attention. You're not just quickly looking out of the corner of your eye or anything like that. You're actually watching it. Oh, I was watching her. <laughs> then we have see. So if you see something, that means you just took a quick look. You just, oh, do you see that? Oh, yes, I see it. It's very quick. You're not really paying attention. You just see it. You recognize it with your eyes. Mm -hmm. And then we have look at, which is pretty similar to watch, mm -hmm. I would think. Look at is kind of to get someone's attention. Hey, look at that. Or look at this thing. It's to draw someone to see something that you want them to see. Hey, look at that. Ooh, what is it? It's break time. Oh, <laughs> thank you. All right, we'll be back. Some tricks are easy to figure out, such as turning a red handkerchief into a green one. However, others aren't so easy to figure out, such as making a building disappear. The key to any magic trick is to change people's attention. That way, their attention isn't on the important stuff in front of them, and they miss seeing it. All right, let's get back into our reading. It says, some tricks are easy to figure out, such as turning a red handkerchief into a green one. Wait. I don't know that one. What? How do you turn a red handkerchief into a green handkerchief? Okay, hang on. So a handkerchief is a piece of cloth that people take around, usually in their pocket somewhere or in their jacket pocket or shirt pocket. And they pull it out and it's like a napkin. It's for cleaning things or, well, also for blowing your nose. <laughs> Uh, but that's a piece of cloth people take around. So how could you turn one from a red one to a green one? I don't know how to do this trick. I guess maybe like it's two together and you pull it out, it turns green. I have or, no idea. Or you flip it around or something. I don't really understand. Not it, sure. Yeah, they said it's maybe easy to figure out, but I don't know how to figure it out. We don't know. <laughs> well, it goes on. <laughs> However, Others aren't so easy to figure out, such as making a building disappear. Has anyone ever made a building disappear? A building? Mm. I know they make cars disappear and people and maybe elephants, but buildings? I don't you'd know if I've heard of that. You'd have to have real magic to do that. Right? Alakazam! Boof! And bye-bye building. Well, they claim to make the buildings disappear. If something disappears, it's here one second and gone the next. You can't see it anymore. And you're looking for it going, where is it? I can't see it anywhere. And things don't really actually disappear in mm. front of your eyes, except mm -mm. in magic. Usually it's maybe you left your keys over here and you forgot they're there. You walk away and when you come back looking for them, you don't see them right away. So it looks like they just disappeared, but you just forgot where they were. Yeah. That happens to me a lot. Yeah, so uh, do you know how to do any of these magic tricks or did you ever see anything like that? No, one time there was a TV show on, a long time ago, <laughs> where a magician wore a mask to change his identity, and he explained how a lot of these tricks are done. And sometimes the explanation was really simple. 
Oh. Yeah. So he was teaching people how the magic trick is done. And so they won't be tricked anymore. They'll understand it and they're not confused. Right. And some of it was mm. just moving things around or being in a different place or changing, uh, maybe using two assistants, uh, oh. two ladies that kind of change places or something like that. So as it goes on, the key to any magic trick is to change people's attention. That way, their attention isn't on the important stuff in front of them, and they miss seeing it. Ah, oh, that's it. Aha. This is called a bigger word. It's called misdirection. Oh. And that's a big word that means you try to get somebody's attention on something else so they don't see what you're doing over here. And magicians do this a lot. Mm. Like all the hand moving and things like that is all to get your attention mm. on something else so they can do a little trick on the side. Oh, you know, actually, I saw a TV show of a magician and he was a pickpocket magician. Oh. And so he invited people to come up with him and he said, okay, just have a conversation with me and talk with me a little bit. And what he did is while he talked with them, he put his hands on them and was like, oh, blah, 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 blah. And, and they didn't really understand what was happening. He was so fast he could take their watch off of their hand and their wrist without them even knowing. That's amazing. He took uh, glasses off their face or the tie off their neck. And it was really amazing what they did. But he was doing it by changing their attention, by touching different places so they would think about that touch, that place, and not over here where his other sneaky hand was getting the tie or the watch or something. Ah, so he used to draw their attention. Mm -hmm. So attention means the thing you are looking at, listening to, and generally have all your focus on. So if you're paying attention to what I'm saying now, you're listening and you're actively like hearing what I'm saying and taking it in and you understand and all that stuff. But if they're taking your attention away, you might be distracted by, oh, there's a cute dog. Aw, so cute. Yeah. Oh, sorry, what? <laughs> oh, oh, the dog. Oh. Well, yes, that's your attention. And attention can be something you give with your eyes or with your ears. You can listen or look to give your attention. Another word they used was stuff. Stuff. <laughs> now, what is stuff? Stuff is like things. Yes. Any thing is stuff. It's such a general way to describe all your things. So your room is full of your stuff. There's yeah. a lot of stuff in your locker. There's stuff everywhere. Yeah, your stuff. clothes, it's your stuff. Your TV, it's your stuff. Your couch, it's your stuff. It's the stuff in your house. Yeah, stuff could be just about anything. I could have gum in my pocket and the gum is my stuff. It's uh, a very general <laughs> word, I'd say. Yes. And there was one more word, right? That was miss. And don't yes. miss this word. <laughs> uh, but miss is a verb and it means you don't catch something or uh, you were trying to get something and you didn't get it. Or you were, maybe you were trying to catch the time and you miss it. You miss yes. your appointment. Or if train. someone throws a ball at you and you, <laughs> oh, and, oh, 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 you miss the ball, and like you said. The train. Yes, yeah. or if I didn't hear what you said, I missed what you said. Sorry, can you repeat it? That sort of thing. Exactly. There's a lot of things you could miss. All right, that's it for us today. And don't miss the next part because we're going to be in it. So we'll see you then. People love magic. The tricks are fun and surprising to watch. Many of them don't seem possible and people can't believe their eyes when they see them. Some tricks are easy to figure out, such as turning a red handkerchief into a green one. However, others aren't so easy to figure out, such as making a building disappear. The key to any magic trick is to change people's attention. That way, their attention isn't on the important stuff in front of them and they miss seeing it. Hi, 各位同学, 我是Wenny, 又到了今天新单字文法的时间哦。
先来看一下今天的四个单字。第一个字 magic 名词或是形容词也可以，它是魔术。相信呢 magic 这个字大家是在熟悉不过了。假设呢，如果今天要说一件事情立竿见影、功效特别灵的话，就可以说 work like magic， 表示魔术般出乎意料的。This technology works like magic。这个新的科技像魔术一样超厉害的。那刚刚有提到，除了当名词表示魔术呢，也可以做形容词用。例如 ，Are there any magic shows on TV？ 现在电视上有任何魔术表演的节目吗？第二个字是 trick， 名词，技法或是把戏。trick 呢，这个单字很常跟我们一起上一个单字 magic 一起做使用。如果要说变魔术的话，记得不要说 change magic， 我们可以说 perform magic tricks 或是 do magic tricks。My friend performed a magic trick at my birthday party. 我朋友在我的生日派对上表演了魔术。第三个字是 handkerchief， 名词，手帕。平常我们看到的随身携带的小方巾就可以叫做 handkerchief。这个字呢，音节可以分成三个部分，会比较好发音，就是 handkerchief。I took out my handkerchief and blew my nose loudly. 我掏出我的手帕，然后大声的擤鼻涕。最后一个字是 disappear， 动词就是消失或是不见的意思。通常呢，某个单字前若加上 dis， 就有反义的意思。因此呢，在 appear 出现前面加上 dis， 变成 disappear 就有消失的意思。那当我们想要表达人物啊，或是物体消失不见的时候，就可以用 disappear。The cake was in the fridge earlier, but then it disappeared. 那个蛋糕刚刚在冰箱里面，但后来突然不见了。来看看今天有哪些新的用语。首先呢是 figure out 破解或是想出，通常用来表示想通或者是解决一个问题。如果你今天尝试想要找出一个问题的答案，你就可以说 I am trying to figure out the answer. 我正在找解决这个问题的答案。接着呢是 turn A into B， 把 A 变成 B。I've turned my garage into a gym。我把我的车库变成了健身房。最后呢，这个是 miss 加 v i n g， 表示错过某件事。miss 呢，除了大家都知道可以当做想念的意思之外呢，也可以当做错过使用。那要注意哦，这个、之后如果遇到动词的话，要把它改成动名词 v i n g 的形态。看看例句。Kevin doesn't want to miss watching that movie on TV tonight. Kevin 不想错过今晚电视播放的那部电影。今天就到这边哦，拜拜。Yue Dong Recreation Area is located in Fengbin Township, Hualien County. The area has a large cave with a deep lake inside. The water level of the lake changes with the shape of the moon. Locals believe that a 1,000-year-old giant eel will attack anyone who swims in the lake. Visitors can take a boat ride to experience the lake and see many bats. Yue Dong Recreation Area shows the different side of Taiwan. See you next time.